What's up, guys? It's your boy Francis. Welcome to In the Box Collection, as you guys can see. Um, so, uh, I've been getting a lot into, you know, wrestling. Well, into a lot, buying a lot of things, a lot of new sports cards. So, I've been getting a lot into collecting. Um, WWE, of course, watch it on TV whenever it's on. I'm not like a, I'm not like a huge legit fan, but I do like sports cards, and I do like, you know, I don't know, I like sports cards. So you guys can see it. It's in the box collection. So I have been getting into a few select uh, WWE uh, breaks, and I thought, no, first of all, I want to rip it myself. Second of all, I want to get a hobby box, but. Um, I, I'm a little undecided, so what I did was that I bought this NXT Wrestling uh, Blaster that has a ton of fucking cards, and I bought this to like 2022 Blasters of the 22, which have been the product that I've been getting the breaks in, just to kind of see if I can, you know, ask the people, see what they like about it, what they don't like about the product, so we can all take a look at it, and I don't know, maybe after this break, or maybe after uh, ripping all this, I can decide whether I like it or not. Uh, the NXT was kind of weird to me. It does have like 90 WWE trading cards. And the checklist is only 135 from the little bit. Uh, like the, the base checklist is like 135 cards. So I, I'm going to like 50-50 on it because it might be like a lot of either a lot of inserts. Or there's going to be like a lot of duplicates. Which I want to see. But a few cards into it. I kind of like it. It's not chrome or anything like that. It's not like the standard car for it, uh, but it is a little bit more thicker than like Tops baseball. Some of plus so far. Like I don't know a lot of these people. I do know Nikita Lyons, uh, Mandy Rose is pretty big, and some guy named Breaker. Her he's still pretty big as well. But uh, I think WWE when it comes to it, this is another one of those. Uh, Unexplored markets. So there's a lot. There's a lot of uh. Why do you gotta Why you gotta do that to me? I'm trying to flip it. Uh, there's a lot of like potential to it, and sometimes getting in early on with the market is the way to be able to do it. But like 90 cards is a lot to have for it. So I'm guessing this is a lot of like I don't know. Either the same cards or duplicates or something like that. But oh, this is a nice Becky Lynch. Put that one over here with the hits. A green rookie card for Zion Quinn. Maybe it will probably help a little bit more if I knew or if I watch more. If I was more of a wrestling fan. Uh, but at the same time, like this is this is the way how I kind of learn things. It's like you know, let me buy some sports cards about it. Um, we'll get like a little preview of NXT. So next time that I see it on TV, I'm like, oh, that looks pretty nice. Um. I don't like the fact that they... Why Why do that? Why do that? So far, like, nothing... It's The product itself is not bad. It's not good. It's nothing... Maybe because I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm, like, skipping through, like, some rookie car that is super, like, I don't know, famous or is going big and going big into it. Um, but I don't know. So far, I'm having fun. I like it. I like the cards for it. I think definitely next time that I go watch WWE on TV, I'm going to be like, hey, I got that dude's card. Um, I do like this little green, little like green parallel for it, for the rookie cards with a little date on it. I like that. Uh, Raquel Hernandez. Huh? Well, and Rhea Ripley. I know Rhea Ripley. She's pretty badass. Uh, well, so far, uh... In terms of like me buying a box again, I don't know. Sometimes we do talk about that. Um, like three packs in, I can tell you guys right now that I will probably not buy. I'm like, I'm not. I probably won't buy it again. Da 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 no no no. Not bad at all, but not a bad product. Just seems very I don't know, like basic. But yeah. Oh, here's a number card for Jack Stars, 12, 96 out of 75. Uh, like, one of the things that I am doing is getting back into the hobby, getting back into, like, spending a ton of money on cards is that I do want to make sure that I always try new things. I want to try as many new things as I can. And this WWE, you know, blaster kind of card concept, this is new to me. So I'm trying it out. One of those things, you know, you got to taste the rainbow. And obviously, the rainbow, this is like NXT flavor. Uh, also, I'm still, like I said, still chasing my first Nikita Alliance. 
Um, I'm assuming that some of the big names are in here. I mean, something has to be here. Oh, there you go. Boom. That's the one. We can stop now. You get a Lions. There you go. Boom. Uh, now we got to chase Mandy Rose for Ryan since he's a Mandy Rose fan. I'm over here snitching on this, all these people. Honestly, I don't even know. I just know that there's those are like the big names in WWE. There's also a Hispanic girl. I don't remember her name. I know that she got a contact, and that's really about it. But I don't know, honestly. But for being a lot of cards, it's not bad. Like a lot of rookies, a lot of variations. I don't haven't seen any that like. Oh, she's Brazilian. Valentina for us. She had the Brazilian flag out there, so definitely a plus right there. That's pretty dope. Cool. Um, maybe we saw him earlier. What the fuck is on with his hair? Um, so yeah, I thought it was going to be a ton of duplicates, but not really. So even, we may have the full checklist right here. Like, the full checklist, we probably got like over a half of the checklist. Two boxes, and you'll probably have the full checklist. Then Miko, not bad, not great, more like a fun rip. I'll do this with my kids, because I wouldn't have to be worried about pulling like a Jamarant Auto. And my kid's like cutting it with scissors. Not saying that this car should be cut with scissors. That's not what I mean. I'm just saying that. Hey, Mandy Rose, there you go. Now we got one. For, we got a car for everybody. Boom. Uh, not bad. A lot of cards. Is that Rhea Ripley? Oh, I like Rhea Ripley. She's cool. Roll up. Not bad. Not not nothing special. Nothing great. Nothing not great. So the hoppy box that I'm looking at is select. So it might be. A little bit different, you know, than NXT. And I know it is. I ripped a little bit of select already. But not on video. On video, is like, whenever I do a video, it's because I, I want that interaction with you guys. I want to know what you guys think about a product. So that way, you guys can let me know, yo, this is hot. This is not hot. This is where it's at. Odyssey Jones is where it is. Monsters 4 is where it's not. Humberto and Julius Creed rookie card on the Orange Shimmer. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to put it right here. So I can sleeve and top load it as soon as I get done. Uh, we have a number card in the back. 16 out of 49 for Saxon. I guess, uh, yeah. Riddle. Who is Riddle? What is the Riddle? Booker T. Listen to the new uh, Bad Bunny Booker T song. Michael Cole is on repeat on my Spotify. Michael Cole. And we have, this is must be the head of the box. Uh, Shh. Saxon Huxley, pink variation, rookie card number 16 out of 49, and this is pretty nice. So this is a little bit better quality. It probably makes sense because this only has like 20-something cards, and NXT had 90 cards. So four cards per pack, uh, six packs per box. So whatever six times four is, that's what it has. So, but Huxley, pink. Not bad at all. I'll, I'll take it. I think it looks pretty dope. I don't know who he is. He looks like he's having a rough time today. Maybe he's doing okay. We got The Rock in the back. Gunther. I do like The Rock. Even though he doesn't really wrestle anymore as a movie star. We have The Rock Prism. I'll take that to the PC. So definitely happy that I got this. I'll probably buy Select again. NXT is a maybe. I don't know. But I pulled, uh, except for Braun Breaker. Did not put a Braun Breaker, but who knows? So we'll keep that right there. A little three more packs over here. So definitely we spent most of the time opening NXT because it had a ton of fucking cards. And Steve Austin. I used to watch Steve Austin when I was a kid. So you know what? So far, pretty happy with this box. Dusty Rhodes. Brock Lesnar. So it's seven dollars a base. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look at that beauty right there. Boom. To the PC. I do remember, like, jumping on the bed, watching him, um, watching WWE overall. Another Steve Austin Prism. Holy shit. This is nice. B.E. Big, not B.E. Big E. Jerry Lawler. Kid Wilson. And the Stone Cold Phenom Parallel. There's a number. This is pretty dope. I do like WWE cards. Good old Stone Cold Steve Austin, man. I wonder, like, who was it, like, when he went out there with the beer and to drink it all? 
I wonder whose idea that was. Was that his idea? Was that created by the storytellers of WWE? But I wonder who it was. Crazy Waller. Damon Dallas Page. Julius Creed. Now we have two Julius Creeds now. And last but not least, Hulk Hogan. Silver parallel. Of course, Panini out here on the little, on the little curve, curvy curve. All right, guys, that is it for the that is that for the boxes. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, the hobby boxes are like I said, I've been in a few breaks. Um, I like the hits. They got way better stuff. And they also got guarantee stuff. Uh, huge difference when you you know buy a hobby and retail is a retail is not guarantee hobby it is. And I like my I like my guarantee stuff. But yeah, let me you guys let me know how I did. Uh, let me guys know if you guys would buy a hobby box. If you guys have buy a hobby box, what did you guys pull? This is in the box collection. This is your boy Francis, and out here, you know, just opening some WWE. You guys have a great weekend. Deuces.